we're in Boston. <laughs> Western Massachusetts is real pretty, but uh, Eastern Massachusetts, eh, too much traffic, too many people for me. Uh, um, anyway, we uh, just delivered this trailer today and uh, dropped it. And uh, I asked the guy when I delivered it, I says, hey, uh, do you guys got any water around here, a water faucet? Uh, surprisingly hard to find water around in the northern states, you know, at the truck stops. Main reason because it gets cold at night and uh, in the winter time, I mean, and it freezes the pipes up. So they don't put faucets or hydrants out at the fuel islands too much. Down south, they're all over the place, but up north, a little harder to find. So I was running really low on water, hadn't had a shower in a couple days, and I was like, you know, I'm thinking I need to get, I need to, uh, need to get cleaned up a little bit. So. I finally got in here and I said, you guys wouldn't happen to have a faucet with you? And he goes, oh yeah, right over here. So right there between three and four, right there between doors three and four, there's a uh, water faucet. So I hooked my hose up to it and filled my tank up, took a good, hot, long shower, wasted all kinds of water. <laughs> and then once I got done, got back out and turned it back on and filled her back up. So I got a full tank of water and uh, called dispatch and said hey you got anything what's going on here and he says yeah we've got one in uh, Connecticut uh, going out to uh, Portland Oregon so I'm going right back across <laughs> so, so uh, life is good life is good we've been uh, been making big miles and little money and <laughs> so but yeah everything's working real well so uh, I get to go down there and pick that trader up in the morning and once we do that uh, we'll be heading west so yep, what's going on no, uh, anyway, they're not talking to me. So uh, let's get to rolling and, and uh, see you later. America. We are in uh, Connecticut. We're down here in uh, Stratford, Connecticut, and uh, just picked this trailer up. And uh, it looks all right. It's an older trailer, but it looks all right. It's in pretty, pretty decent shape. Walked around doing all the pre-check, pre-trip inspections on it this morning, and uh, uh, there was a tire that was bad, or not bad. It was out of the flat. And uh, so I pulled around to the shop over here. Uh, they've got a shop over here, and I pulled it over there and let them uh, let them put some air in it. And the mechanic got to looking at it and he says, you know, this tire's no good. I think maybe we ought to take it off. It's real low on rubber. It's kind of cupping out and everything. So why don't we put a new tire on it? I says, all right, let's do that. Well, then they got to looking at it and realized it's not their trader. It's, it's, it's a United trader, but it's not this, this agent. It's, it's not their trader. It's, it's a different agent's trader. So I said, uh, you need to call the 800 service. So I called the 800 service and uh, um, they scratch your heads for a little bit and finally decided what we're going to do is we're going to put a we're going to send a tire tire guy out to you so mobile tire guy just showed up and he's over there working putting you can hear him <laughs> putting a couple tires on and uh it's going to get noisy so anyway he's going to be putting a couple tires on and uh putting the jack under it right now uh, how this works, uh, let me get away from the noise here. How this works is uh, um, on these moving traders, they have an 800 number that we can call. And if you have any kind of any kind of mechanical breakdown on the road somewhere, you call them and they decide what to do. To go to, if you're out there on the highway, just roll to the next truck stop and get a tire put on there. If the lights are bad, they'll send a shop, you know, stop at a shop. Or if you're like where I'm at right here, they'll send a, 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 a uh, a, uh, uh, a road mechanic out to, to fix it. Uh, it. It's their call. You, you call the 800 number and then they decide what to do. So anyway, uh, I'm going to let uh, let him get busy on this tire and uh, we'll be we'll be rolling here shortly, hopefully. <laughs> and no, I don't have to pay for this. This is, this is a national account. All right, we're going to take these tires off and thought I'd explain a little bit here. 
Um, well, he, he sure jacked that thing up in the air, didn't he? Well, what he did is he jacked it up until the tire came off the ground, and then the airbags adjusted, and somehow the wheels went up. <laughs> so we had to drop it back down a little bit. And, uh, okay, this is the bad tire. It was the inside tire. The one was flat, and he's uh, we're checking for water, you know, air leaks around the uh, valve stem and places like this. And, um, anyway, uh, we're, we're discussing right here whether to put one or two tires on. Well, here's the outside tire, which is okay, but... Uh, it, it's in good shape. It's just really low on rubber. I mean, it's, it's still legal and everything, but it uh, it doesn't have a lot of rubber on it. So we're going to take this. He's going to take this tire off. You know, dismount the tire from the uh, rim, and then we'll, we'll get up in the back of his truck and grab two tires, and we'll bring it over and match them up here in just a second. There we go. We're matching them up right here to see how tall they are. Well, the new tires are taller, obviously, than the uh, the old tire. And if you put a tire side by side you know in the same you know together as a tandem or a, a pair they um, um, the tall tire will have better traction than the shorter tire therefore as they rotate the shorter tire ends up being dragged ever so slightly on every rotation gets dragged about a quarter of an inch over time that burns the rest of that rubber off and a tire that you you know you try to match them up as far as height is what you're trying to do and if you don't, the shorter tire will burn off in a matter of a few weeks, usually, you know, if you're using it every day, you know. But um, so what we decided to do is decide to put two tires on. So we, he's down, di dismounting the second tire here. I'm going to mount both of them up. And um, right now he's letting one air up and he's getting ready to dismount the second one. He's letting the air out of the second tire now. I'm trying to get the bolt out to put the tire in that, that tire rack behind the behind the mud flaps. There's a tire rack and you can slide spares. Well, it's, it's got a bolt in it and the bolt was too rusty. So <laughs> he even put his impact on it here. Still couldn't get it out. And then I had a bright idea. Duh. Why don't we just put it in the side box? So I got to looking at the side box there, the belly box, I mean. So I ended up putting the spare, the, the, the good tire in the, there we go, in the belly box. All right. So anyway, the the bad tire he's going to throw away as a, as a case. Or actually, it's not bad. It, he'll he'll uh, they'll they'll take it and recap it probably. And uh, so anyway, that was it. Get everything, do all the paperwork and everything, and uh, we talk a little bit. And uh, that's all there is to changing the tire. Oh yeah, got to get the jack out. <laughs> he just about left his jack underneath there.